guys, it's Jordan and welcome back to Trauma Talk. So this is probably the seventh time I've started this video because it turns out when something is really difficult, I have a difficult time talking about it, or fresh, I should say. I had ankle surgery, for those of you who don't know, uh, a couple weeks ago, I mean months. I had ankle surgery two months ago. I went back to the doctor a couple weeks ago. Now, I've had nine or 10 ankle surgeries in my life. Um, it's real messed up. It got really bad over the last year. And this last surgery was to hopefully give it significantly more time to reduce the amount of pain I was having. Long story short, I found out in the last year that I'll probably have to have it amputated in the next few years, which is really crappy news for anyone. And I would argue, especially for someone who finds a lot of their identity in jujitsu and horseback riding and um, yoga and hiking and walking and just being really active. And so this surgery was supposed to give it um, significantly, maybe more time, reduce the amount of pain, find out more information. And uh, essentially what I found out two weeks ago is that it did not fix the problem. Um, there's literally nothing else they can do. And it's just sort of a like matter of time. It's waiting, it's trying to take care of it the best I can. And I got that news and felt it for like two minutes and then was like, nope, I can't process this. I can't deal with it. I am going to go back to working as hard as possible all the time so I don't have to think about this. And I went and saw my counselor um, on Monday and we talked about this kind of the difference between coping and processing. So I don't know if anyone's ever really talked to you about the difference between coping and processing. We talk about coping skills a lot. And I kind of think about coping skills as survival. Like you need to make it, you need a way to make it through the day. Like when I initially went through um, the first year following exiting that super abusive relationship, my coping skills were um, going to the gym all the time, smoking constantly, um, isolating, like those are not, one of those is a good coping skill. The other two are negative coping skills, but they are what I did to not kill myself. They are what I did to stay alive. Coping skills are what you do to make it through the day. Processing is what we do to actually get to a better place, to work through things, to, um, you know, kind of unpack our trauma, unpack grief, unpack bad news, unpack whatever it is, and um, get to a place where we don't have to cope to get through the day. And so my counselor and I were talking about this and um, all I've done for the past two weeks since I got this news is work like 16 hours out of the day. Um, I, I mean that just about literally, like I fill every single second of every single day with something, usually work, if it's not work, it's something related to work and then I pass out at the end of the day, wake up at 6 a.m. and do it all again. And so I'm, like turning into a workaholic not to deal with this news. And she essentially said, you know what, that's coping and coping is necessary if that's what you need to do for a little while, but you also have to make space to process. And so I am making space to process and I am taking today off, um, which is really hard to do, to try to make some space for that news to absorb. Because one thing that I notice is when I push away whatever I'm trying not to deal with, it starts affecting me in other ways. Like I've started having worse migraines and random weird abdominal pain and crazy dizzy spells. And um, this happens pretty regularly when I don't deal with things. And I don't know what you notice in your life, but that's what I've noticed. And so I am taking today to process some. And then I'll probably go back to coping a little bit and then I'll make some time to process some more. And what I didn't do for like three years was really process at all. It was like just coping after trauma. And so I would encourage you wherever you are in your journey to find space to process, find a safe space to process, find a safe person to process with, whether that's a, you know, reading a book that helps you do that, whether that's going to counseling, whether that's someone who has been through this journey before and, you know, been through similar trauma and is kind of further along the journey, whatever that is, do whatever you need to do to make it through the day, but also find things that help you process so that you don't have to keep doing things just to make it through the day so that you can get to a better place in life. That's what I'm going to attempt to do with the rest of today so that I am 
practicing what I preach and not just living my life in a blur and constantly surviving and coping and trying to get to a better place with some pretty crappy news. I hope you guys are hanging in there. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. What do you think about coping versus processing and how do you process things? I'm curious because I'm still learning about processing myself. I look forward to hearing what you have to say. Please take care of yourself and I will see you soon.